We're going to go back to the moon. We're going to go on to Mars. I can't predict when. Retired astronaut Eugene Cernan is one of just 12 men who walked on the moon. And as I take man's last step from the surface, back home for some time to come, but we believe not too long into the future. He currently holds the distinction of being the last man there. We leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return. But it is tremendously disappointing that I am here 40 years later and still hold that title or have that yoke on my shoulders. Cernan, along with fellow Apollo 17 astronaut Harrison Schmidt, celebrated the 40th anniversary of the December 1972 mission with fellow astronaut Jim Lovell at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago. Three, two, one, ignition. Right away, Houston. As they returned to Earth on that long ago December 19th, Schmidt and Cernan didn't expect that 40 years later they would be commemorating it as the end of an era. To say that I thought it would be 40 years or what really is going to turn out to be 50 or 60 years before Americans were back on the moon, uh, I would not have guessed that at all. Half a century ago, we went 250,000 miles, cracked the door open and never walked through it into the future. The future is still out there. A plan to return to the moon, which President George W. Bush proposed, was scrapped by President Barack Obama. Amid deep budget deficits and an economy slowly recovering, spending more money on space is not a priority for lawmakers, something Cernan says is still only a small part of the overall U.S. budget. We spend one half of one penny of every one of our tax dollars on space, all of space. Schmidt, once a U.S. senator, says there is also a lack of willpower on the part of NASA. And from a fiscal point of view, it falls victim to being very small and to not having a, uh, uh, a mission based on geopolitical reality of, uh, of the importance of the United States being a dominant, the dominant spacefaring nation. We wrestled the leadership of, of space from the Soviet Union some 50 years ago, or half a century later, here we are today, and our hands are in our pockets. We cannot get an American into space on our own hardware. With the space shuttle now retired, the U.S.-based corporation SpaceX is developing a vehicle that can transport people to and from Earth's orbit. A manned crew capsule could be ready in the next few years. But for veterans of the Apollo program, that's not enough. They believe NASA should prioritize a return to the moon. America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. With Mars the ultimate destination. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.